Seems irrelevant. You know the way. You can drive. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? National news from America. You? No, you don't. We were at school together. Uh, how about you buy me a drink for, for old time's sake? You looking for someone? Something funny about You know Frank Morgan? Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. Goddamn Harry thinks he could get fresh whenever he Frank sees. Morgan? Who's asking? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. I think you were in on it, Morgan. You drove down there, and you let Black have it. Ooh, I'm a bad boy. That the best you got? When did you last see Adrian? Hell, I don't know. Uh, I had plenty to drink last night. Things are a little sketchy. If he was on his way to meet you when he went missing, you're going to have to do a lot better than I don't recall. He had a couple and then left, I guess. Maybe he had to go meet someone. That's the best I can do. This doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. You want my opinion? We tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime.
sure left his drink in a hurry. I bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. Easy, Cole. Better back it off. Where are you taking us, Mr. Morgan? Let's check the place out. Day one of the big time, and you're already tailing drunks home from bars. You having fun yet? I told you it was non-stop glamour work in traffic, didn't I? I'm just trying to learn. Oh, come on, Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. It won't work on me. All right, let's pay our friend a visit, see if he's missed us yet. Who the hell is that? Will you relax? Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll get it. Ah, oh, shit. It's over, Morgan. Mr. Black? LAPD! Give yourself up now! I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. There's no point running, Adrian! <laughs> Mr. Black, get back here right now! It's over, over, Adrian. Adrian. Why did you need to get out of L.A. so fast, Adrian? Why the melodrama? I've met somebody in Seattle. She means everything to me. We were going to start a new life together. Looks like she'll have to wait for you. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're going to the big house, Adrian. And when your wife finds out, you're going to lose her, too. I hope this broad was worth it. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian. What an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, 
good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, and you could go a long way in this department. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. PR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good, get going. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. We catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. Can you drive to this one? You hear about Adrian? Brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her, he was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. I'm talking from experience. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. I must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. Empty. doesn't appear to be connected. I don't think so. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Nothing significant.
Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thanks, ma'am. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyways. Last night, I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You're going to tell me what I want to know, or do I have to drag it out of you? You should learn to talk to older people with some manners, you son of a bitch. Those no-account beaners used to own the whole of Los Angeles, but we ran them off. How about you get on with catching them?
You're behind the wheel. So where do you want to go? You know the way. You can drive. Uh, where are we going? This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Don't tell me, let me guess. You're making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four-door and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. That's not right. Wrong size. One left. No. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three quarter. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3103 Hill Street. And tell him from me. If he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. That's it. Like I said, I'll have to keep an eye on it.
Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. done the right thing and answered all your questions. Now quit sweating on me and go get those boys. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? A story in the examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talkies and color, and look what we have now. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. What the hell is this guy doing? Uh, where do you see a number three marked on that door? Yes? LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. So how far along are you, Anna? Nearly 
20 weeks. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? You are wrong about Gabriel. Souvenirs are a father. dumb move. Already he works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. This doesn't pertain to the case. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. to me. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Take more time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? He steals cars to support you and care for the baby? How can you say that? What makes you say that? I have my own job. I work at Union Station. If I have to, I will bring up our baby. That is all I have to say to you. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. Anna, do you want to go to jail? Do you want your baby to be born in jail? He was here. He comes and goes. I can't control him. to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. Huh. Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy.
Probably nothing. Nope. This isn't what we're looking for. Diplomatic license plates. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. As soon as we corner Gabriel, we'll be back for you, Anna. You had your chance to cooperate. Start line? <laughs> 